Will that mysterious shade literally die without me having to touch it once? Oh, we can actually fish for heim crabs. I think this would be a good chance. We can actually do some... Ah, I don't have any... Ah, God damn it. Oh, well. I'm assuming that's what the oven's there for, though, to actually fish. You know, to cook the fish that we get. I could dispel the magic barrier, but something tells me that this will go horribly, horribly wrong. No, it actually did not go wrong at all. I managed to s literally dispel it in one try. Which is very, very, very surprising and unlike me. I thought for sure that was going to be a fucking puzzle I'd have to solve. This mysterious shade does a shit ton. Fuck you, mysterious shades. Fuck off and die. Come on, die. There we go. And there's actually some Bathus ore right here. Whoa. A Marmos dagger. Yes, please. I know what I'm binding to myself as well. That's a lot of fucking damage. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to mine the bathosaur, and then I'm going to walk right on back there. I'm going to fucking turn this shit in. I'm going to make that my new default weapon. I'm also going to steal this key, because fuck you. I'm going to take some ore, because I might as well. And then I'm going to walk my ass back to the start. I'm going to fucking get this thing in there, because that is a really good weapon. We're going to bind you. You are now bound to me. Bind setup. We go in here. I think you're the one I'm looking for, right? And I go like this. I should be able to set that up. And that's done. Now, if not talk to you, if I go to the bind setup again and I equip this bind, I now have... I have a Mamoru's Dagger. That's pretty fucking cool. Ah, fucking sweet. Okay, we're gonna go smelt some stuff on the furnace now. Just take care of that business. We got three Bathys, which means we can actually create a another weapon, or maybe an offhand weapon if we really wanted to. Though I have a Bathys shield. It might be nice to actually get an offhand. I don't know if an offhand would be bindable is the problem, though. That is a legit question. Could I bind an offhand weapon? And would it still work for my purposes? I mean, we're gonna find out. We're gonna get an offhand Bathus longsword. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna create a Navite full helm because we can. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna put this on, wear that, which gives me a nice armor. And I'm actually going to bind the two offhand. We're going to see if I can actually equip a bound to offhand weapon like this. Can I do it? Also, how do I tell which one's an offhand weapon? You know, legit question here. Okay, let's equip. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bind. Let's equip that. This is now my l primary loadout. Let's see what it looks like. It's using the offhand Bathys, and it's using the Mamero's Dagger. That's pretty fucking good. I think this is a pretty legit setup. That's a lot of fucking damage. It's a high damage class build, that's for damn sure. I'm going to go with the two-hander. I'm going to head on back through this door. We're going to continue on our way. I might want to start with the shield, though, because the thing... I, I can just switch this out whenever I go up, up to that guy, but the thing is, early on in the dungeon, you're going to want more defense than you're going to want to offense. I mean, it's... Because sometimes you're not going to have armor. Sometimes you're not going to have any defensive equipment whatsoever. In those scenarios, you're going to need... You're going to need an offhand. Or not an offhand. You're going to need a shield. You won't need an offhand as much. 
That guy, I, that guy got fucked. Okay, well, take all, I guess. And I don't need the Navite Dagger, but I'll keep it just in case. I might as well take the ore just in case I encounter an instance where it might be useful. I could use some food. I'm pretty low on health, relatively speaking, to the rest of my attempts. Which basically means that when I go up against that boss, I might be in for a hard time. Luckily, I think the sales guy, the little store smuggler up there, has just what we need. Alright, we got even more Navite. We can actually get to the full set now of armor. Alright, back to the start we go. First things first, I want to trade with you, Smuggler. Let's see what you've got on you. Do you have anything that might be worth uh, buying? I'm not looking for info. I'm looking for... Alright, so let's see. I'm probably just going to buy the crab because I can. Let's, let's buy 50. Let's buy a full inventory worth of crab, as much as we possibly can get. And now, oh, it's raw. We were buying raw. I th that's very disappointing. I was almost well. Luckily, there is an oven here, so we can just go cook them up. But that kind of thought I was buying fresh. Thought I was buying fucking fresh cooked, but no, apparently not. All right, we we'll cook on the oven. Oh, how is this such a problem? Come on, cook on the oven. It's an oven range. It's, like, it's literally a cooking range. You shouldn't have this much of... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Use on the cooking range. There's not even error message. Do I get a fucking error message for this? Come on. Well, apparently we can't cook for no reason. Oh, it needs logs. Shit. Well... That's one use for wood that we don't have access to. Oh, well. Maybe we can actually afford some wood. Oh, we can actually chop the tree because, believe it or not, we actually do. Ah, fucking hell, our wood cutting level's not high enough. Oh, well. Can't say I didn't try. Maybe the tangle gum tree will come down faster. Probably not. It's probably even harder to take down than the other tree. Oh, nope, we can actually get it. Sweet! Um, and then I take this, and I'm assuming I just pop that under the oven. And I should be able to start cooking some fish. I'm gonna go through this door. And we use this on this. And that should stoke the oven up. Now we use the... What? Oh, we have to light it. Well, luckily, that was that was easy. So now we do this, and we cook all 31. We're up to the amount that we need. We'll have a few left over that we can use later on. In case we really run into trouble. There we go. So we got a full inventory now, which is pretty good. We're going to head through this door. We're going to go, and we're actually going to smelt the leggings now that we need. Okay, smelt all of you. Yeah, shit, I forgot I need to have open inventory space. I need to drop the entire bottom row here, and we should have enough room, and I can just pick it up as soon as we're done. Unlike me in real life, me in the game doesn't give a fuck if it's found on the floor. In fact, that's a trend for most games, actually. But what's up with that fact? I mean, what seriously, what's up with that? You come into a fucking dungeon, there's just perfectly well-preserved food waiting for you. Because, obviously, that would happen. I mean, it's so blatantly obvious. That, I mean, when doesn't that happen? Where is the boots? There they are. There we go. No, no, no. Cancel out. I don't want to make too many boots. I still want to, I still have some Navite available. 
Is there a difference between the plate body and... Oh, we can't find out now. Oh, well. I might as well get gauntlets. No, don't walk away. I only need one gauntlet. Oh, nope. For some reason, I said it to do one. It decided to give me, like, four. Oh, well. It's what happens. I'm gonna drop the Novi gauntlets, because I don't need that many. Loot all. And now we can go through this dungeon door, and... There's some guys on the other side. I wonder if the boss will be different this time. <laughs>